Um, our group, which is essentially centered on, on human evolution, is focused on understanding the, the comparative of the human genome with the great ape uh, genome. We do it at different uh, levels, so we do genomics, transcriptomics, and epigenetics. Uh, it, the goal is always the same. We are trying to narrow uh, whatever can be pinpointed as a human specific. Recently, we participate in the Gorilla Genome Project, which is a consortium in which there are like 20 different groups in the world. This has been published in Nature, and our role has been to characterize the structural variants and how they are annotated in the reference genome, and then the comparison between different species of gorillas, again at genomic level. There are, I will say, three main findings in this paper. First, that for the very first time we were able to reconcile the, the fossil record with the molecular evolution. So there's been a lot of debate uh, <coughs> between these two disciplines of science and for the very first time we suggest that difference in the mutation rate can change the, the speciation time and for the very first time we suggest that, that in fact the, the, the people that we do uh, evolutionary studies at molecular level and people that study the fossil record we are not that apart. One of the main findings of the Gorilla Genome paper has been that, you know, we all assume, and, and, and it's been of course completely true, that the separation between human and chimpanzee, which took more or less between five and seven million years ago, and precede the, what was the speciation of gorilla, which happened more or less eight to ten million years ago. And this is the standard phylogeny, and, and this es essentially should be found everywhere in the genome. But what's been a, a surprising for all of us is that uh, more or less one third of the genome, we do not find this relationship. Essentially, this relationship is broken, and what we have found is that either human is more different than the variants that we see in, hum uh, in chimpanzees or, or gorillas, or humans and gorillas are closer uh, in terms of variants to what we see in chimpanzee. And the fact that it's one third of the genome, and this is a huge proportion respect to what one will expect under neutrality, suggests that this speciation, so after the speciation of gorilla until the common ancestor of human and chimpanzees, was a really short fragment of time, and it was a much more complex, uh, complex speciation than anticipated. And, and finally, the third point is that in the last 20 years, there's been a lot of effort to try to characterize at molecular level um, some uh, intrinsic characteristics of the human being, like, for instance, communication or language. And, and there are a set of genes that usually related to, to auditive perception that has been accelerated in human compared to chimpanzees. One of the findings of the paper is that gorilla is also accelerated for the very, set, uh, uh, the very same set of genes, suggesting that we have to look, uh, to look elsewhere in order to find, finally, some molecular basis for this particular uh, human behavior. Our main contribution to, to this study has been to, to study the, the quality of the genome, and we have also studied the, the segmental replications, which are uh, large fragments that are highly repetitive in the genome for which we are experts in uh, about these regions. We have also studied the two, the two species of gorillas, uh, for which we have observed that the eastern gorilla uh, have lower variability than the western gorilla which uh, implies also that, that the eastern gorilla is, uh, has a, a bigger risk of, uh, of, uh, of extinction than the western.